Good morning, Vikings. Today is Friday, November 9th. I'm Samantha. And I'm Kyle. And these are your morning announcements. Students, a reminder that teachers will be collecting donations today. Whether it's 25 cents or $10, anything helps. Friday night tickets are $20 in room 204 before school or at lunch. Thanks for supporting United Way. This is a reminder to all grade 9 students that Take Our Kids to Work Day is next Wednesday, the 14th. Please return your signed forms to the guidance office as soon as possible. Don't miss out on this valuable workplace experience. If you have misplaced your form, pick up a new one in guidance. There will be a short meeting on Friday in Ms. Legworth's classroom. For all the SHSM students, all must attend. In honor of those that have made sacrifices during the war, in honor of those who have lost their lives, and in honor of all that Arthur Rona has done for the war efforts, I have written a poem. Remembering those who fought, remembering those we have lost, their fear being hidden within their bravery, the guns firing and feeling angry. Those left behind think of their loved ones and worry. Those who want other country's freedom to carry, never forgotten remembered often. There are those long gone that bowing their heads during the trumpet's song. The poppy's red does not represent bloodshed. The poppy's red is love that we have spread. And that is all. Hockey, hockey, hockey. Hockey is coming soon. See Justin McDonald or Mr. Cummings for more information. Today, during period four, you can buy in to watch the staff and students battle it out on the volleyball court. Two dollars will get you out of your period four class and into the gym. Volleyball. I've made a vow to myself. I want to see absolutely every veteran's grave in this cemetery taken care of. It's a vow Eric Dahl of Drumheller, Alberta, has taken very seriously. Out of work since March, Dahl has spent most of his free time here on hand and knee through all kinds of weather, tending to the long forgotten graves of fallen soldiers. I came out here the first day. Well, is, you know, is there protocol to what I should be doing? You know, is there somebody I should be asking? You know, is this okay? And it took me about three, five seconds to realize, no, I shouldn't have to ask anybody's permission. This is my Canada. Dahl's patriotism runs deep, and though he's never served himself, he has a profound appreciation for those that have. When it came time to go to war, ours was a volunteer army. The boys just stuck their hands up and went. They're, they didn't have to be conscripted or drafted to get in there. They weren't forced. On an average day, this father of five will clean and groom up to 15 grave sites, many weathered by decades of harsh prairie winters. It's arduous work, and in Dahl's case, completely selfless. 
He never imagined the wave of support he's received since word of his endeavor got out. Gratitude has poured in from around the globe, while others in his community, including family members, have come out to help. I'm glad that something so simple in essence has reached and touched so many people. That wasn't the purpose when I first started, but I'm sure glad it's an after effect. And while Dahl accepts the gratitude he's been shown, he believes it truly belongs to those who have fought for our country. They are the foundation of what give us the rights that we do have today. And we tend to forget that. Deb Matijka, The Weather Network. Here's your weekly weather update. It's currently snowing, so get your mitts, get your hat, because it's cold. On the menu today, we have the Italian wedding soup, we have a Greek salad, we have an upside down shepherd's pie for the hot entree. For vegetarian, we have veggie burgers. There's no pizza today. No pizza. We have the pizza panini, though, for the grilled hot sandwiches, and then you got your junior burgers, Lux burger, chicken burgers, and hot dogs. That's all. Have a thought for our Freedom Friday. <laughs>